last year, we announced that we were going to build a cyber training and we're calling it Cyber Innovation and Training Center uh, there in Augusta, Georgia. And we were fortunate because our economy has been doing so well that we were able to put $50 million in cash in the amended 17 budget, which has already passed a month or so ago. And we are on a time schedule to build this facility and be operational and ready to open the doors. Michael, I think it's going to be by July of this next year, which is a relatively short time frame to build a facility of this type. But what will it do? Well, it's multifaceted, and that's good because it gives us the flexibility to respond to the needs of a very changing atmosphere in this area of cybersecurity. First of all, it will give us the opportunity to tap into the resources of our Board of Regents, university system, universities, and colleges. And of course, uh, being located there in Augusta, Augusta University is going to be one of the premier ones, but it will also include every one of our major research universities in the state of Georgia. It will also tap into our technical college system because they are going to be able to offer training to some of their students that will participate in the use of these facilities. Now, I was told that the terminology that is sometimes used about these kind of things is a cyber range. Now, a range, when I was in the Army, meant that you had to go out and you had to show that you could perform with a 45 caliber pistol or with the rifle. This is similar except it's a very different experience. It is a range, as I understand it, where you will be challenged to respond to hacks or to determine how you can avoid them, maybe even to hack into something yourself and see if you can do so without being detected. Now, that is a very secretive and elevated level and I've told you everything I know about it right there. <laughs> but it's going to offer a great opportunity for people in Georgia. I think we're going to see young people who will come because this is their area of interest. And this will be a specialization that will not be available, according to our information, uh, in any other state in the United States. So I believe it will become a hub for this kind of specialized training of actual practical hands-on operational skills being acquired in this process. That's exciting to me. Uh, we're number one in a lot of things in the last few years. I think we will definitely be number one in this area of cybersecurity training.